Hello, this is Joseph Katikart from Oracle BI Product Management. In this video, I will cover the following topics. First, how to connect your Oracle Business Intelligence Cloud Service to Oracle Database as a Service. Second, how to lift and shift an on-premise BI metadata, which is also known as RPD, into cloud. And third, we will look at how this Oracle Database as a Service, or DBAS connectivity, together with lift and shift capability, provides a huge leap in functionality for your BI cloud service. Let's start with DBAS. As of now, the default data store for BICS is a Oracle Schema as a Service instance. DBAS is a separate Oracle Database as a Cloud service that you can subscribe for. It gives you the full power of Oracle Database, including various options that database supports. I have here a 11G database instance that has Oracle Advanced Analytics option turned on. From the BI Service Administration Console, I can switch between my default schema as a service data store or connect to a DBAS instance. When I connect to a DBAS instance this way, the connection pools within the current online RPD gets pointed to my DBAS instance. Here is one important thing to note about this. With this approach, we are only modifying the data source, that is, switching between schema as a service and the database as a service. As for the model itself, we will continue to use our BICS thin client modeler to make any changes to it. With that, let's move on to the next topic, which is how to perform lift and shift of an offline or an on-premise RPD. RPD that is loaded this way can be modified exclusively by admin tool only. Admin tool is a OBIE thick line utility which is used to design BI metadata model. In the snapshots tab in service console, we also have an option to replace data model with an offline RPD. Data model uploaded this way can have multiple connection pools pointing to multiple DBAS schemas from one or more DBAS service instances. In this case, I have a trimmed down version of RPD from our on-premise OBIE samples application. This approach arms you with all the sophisticated modeling capabilities that exist in OBIE admin tool. For example, modeling complex hierarchies, level-based metrics, double column support, and so on. Here I have a connection pool pointing to our DBAS instance. Once the data model is successfully loaded, the subject areas from that model will be available for analysis. In the model I just loaded, I have four subject areas that are shown here. With that, we move on to our next topic, which is about how this DBAS together with lift and shift capabilities add a lot of functionality to BI cloud service. To demonstrate this, I have loaded this environment with a few sample dashboards. They are organized to highlight some of the advanced capabilities in the areas of report building, BI modeling, database advanced SQL constructs, Oracle R Enterprise, and Oracle data mining. Now let's take a closer look at the dashboards. I'll be commenting on some of the pages, and for the rest of the pages, you may download the app and explore on your own. The first page here shows various types of hierarchies, level-based, parent-child, skip level, ragged, and so on. This page shows examples of custom groups, calculated items, and selection steps. Last page demonstrates the use of filter function from a report. The dashboard named Advanced BI Modeling the lookups page shows how to use logical sparse lookup in order to display multilingual translations. The descriptor ID page demonstrates double column functionality whereby a user can filter by a display field, but the query automatically filters by a hidden descriptor ID associated with that field. Hierarchical functions page shows how to use functions that understand and make use of value-based hierarchy structure. For example, in an employee org hierarchy, you can compute revenue for all descendants, all ancestors, or only for direct reports, and so on. Third dashboard in this app leverages advanced SQL functions of Oracle Database. First page here is an example of doing market basket analysis using Oracle Database package named Frequent Item Set. The next page is demonstrating the use of Oracle SQL's model clause in order to do revenue projections. Dashboards 4A to 4D are examples on how to invoke Oracle R Enterprise scripts directly from the dashboard. It also shows how you can interact with the script and how to display the script results on a BICS dashboard.
Dashboards 5A, B, and C demonstrates how to interact with Oracle Data Mining and display its results. In ODM classification example, we are using a data mining classification model to predict the customer's lifetime value category. What if scoring page is an example of dynamic and interactive prediction of customer LTV based on the user inputs from the dashboard? Next dashboard has various pages that use ODM regression model. Clustering and association dashboard have examples that introspect ODM models present in that environment. With market basket analysis page, we inspect various association roles, its lift, support, confidence, and so on. With that, let me conclude. Lift and shift capability of Oracle BICS provides you with full range of sophisticated modeling capabilities that is available in on-premise Oracle BI Enterprise Edition. This when combined with capabilities of Oracle Database as a Service, you also get the power of Oracle Advanced Analytics in your BICS dashboards. Thank you for watching this video.